Hey guys, I'm Adam from Antac Suppressors. I uh, came out to the range today to answer another Facebook question we got. Uh, Logan wanted to know if we could test our overbarrel suppressors on a mic uh, three feet to the left, which is standard mill testing, and at the shooter's ear, which is become, kind of becoming the standard these days. So we have our standard setup here and a camera facing the mic so you guys can see what it's recording. Uh, for those of you who didn't see our 22 versus pellet gun video, the number you're looking for is at the bottom here where it says LA Peak Max. Uh, that is actually the small high uh, spike in sound that you get from something like a gunshot, and it's what we're referencing when we're talking about decibel reduction. So uh, we got a regular end barrel suppressor, three feet to the right. Uh, 134.4. So normally what we do is we'd shoot 10 rounds and we'd average them uh, standard spread somewhere in the two to three decibel range. Uh, but for this video, we're just gonna shoot the one and move on just for the sake of brevity. So. We'll reset and we'll shoot it at the ear. And normally I have somebody to hold this, but I'm just going to kind of work my way through it. Uh, let's see. 136.0. Uh, so it's still pretty quiet, but you can notice that it's actually louder at the shooter's ear than it is three feet to the left of the muzzle. Uh, the reason for that is it's an end barrel suppressor and that's what end barrel suppressors do on direct impingement rifles. Because you get all that extra gas blowback, uh, you kind of get a pop from the chamber. So you actually get a little bit of increase in sound at the shooter's ear. So now I'm gonna change it up and I'm gonna switch to our over barrel suppressor. Uh, I'm shooting the CQB 556M, which is our four inch over barrel suppressor. Uh, we also make a six inch version. Uh, the reason I'm shooting the four inch version is on this rifle, I have a mid length gas system and a 16 inch barrel. So there's not enough length in there for the six inch version, but uh, sound reduction, if you look on our website, is actually exactly the same on both of them. Uh, the only real advantage of the six inch version is you get a little bit less gas blowback from that longer over barrel chamber. Uh, so this is an adjustable gas block on my rifle here, but it is tuned for uh, shooting without a suppressor. Uh, I use this as my competition training rifle, so normally I have a, a muzzle brake on there. Um, so it is a little bit over gas, but all of this stuff is going to be pretty much the same even when you really tune it down. It's still going to be just a little bit louder at the shooter's ear with an end barrel suppressor. So, over barrel suppressor. Reset my mic. 145.9. So, this is the part where most people cringe because that's over 140 decibels. Uh, which is the standard, you know, testing three feet to the side. But this misses the point of what the suppressor is supposed to do. And you're going to get that point when we shoot it at the ear here. So, reset. At the ear. There we go. Uh, let's see, 138.8. So you'll notice it does exactly the opposite of what our end barrel suppressor does. Instead of getting louder at the shooter's ear, it gets significantly quieter at the shooter's ear. So the purpose of this suppressor is to be hearing safe for the shooter and then be as short as possible within those constraints. Um, you also get some other advantages with that over barrel chamber. You're not gonna have as much gas blowback as you are. So not only does the end barrel suppressor uh, throw a bunch of gas in your face if you're shooting it really fast, but it's also gonna push carbon down into your rifle, which is gonna make your rifle dirtier, so you're gonna have to clean it more often. So the over barrel suppressor is gonna be you know, pretty darn close in performance at the shooter's ear, although it is gonna be louder off to the side. Uh, but that real advantage comes from less carbon going back into your weapon system, less gas in your face while you're shooting. And as you can see, this is an end barrel suppressor and it's four inches longer than the over barrel suppressor when it comes to total length added to your rifle. So if you have any questions about this, uh, you can go ahead and leave those up in the comments or if there's anything else you'd like to see us test, you can put that up there as well. And to uh, learn more about our suppressors, you can go to amtaxsuppressors.com.